Coming to you from the Strack and Van Til Studios. This is your 219 News Now. Strack and Van Til, making customers' lives easier for 93 years. Hi, I'm Sonny Santana, and this is your 219 News Now. The Indiana General Assembly gave final approval to reestablishing a school board in Gary six years after the district was taken over by the state. The legislation establishes a five-member board. The mayor gets one appointment, the city council another, and the Indiana Secretary of Education the other three. State legislators Eddie Melton and Vernon Smith were against the measure, saying Gary deserves an elected board and that there should be an end date for state control. After 12 years, Purdue Northwest Chancellor Tom Keon says he'll step down next spring. Keon said the system has a policy limiting how long one can serve in leadership. A search committee will be led by trustee Malcolm DeKrieger. Keon was under fire for comments he made following a commencement address by WJOB's Jim Delo. Some saw Keon's comments as racist, including Tom Roach, chairman of the faculty senate. Roach said faculty has been concerned about Keon's leadership for some time, including efforts to trim the budget. Porter County Judge Jeffrey Clymer recused himself from a suit seeking to prevent Valpo University from selling valuable art for dorm improvements. Clymer stepped back because he taught at Valpo's now closed law school. The paintings include Georgia O'Keeffe's Russ Red Hills and works by Frederick E. Church and Childe Haslam. Those suing say the university is breaching donors' intent by using the art as an ATM. And in sports, Highland defeated Holbert at the U.S. Steel Yard on Monday night. Tyler Stewart was stellar for the Trojans, driving in a run at the plate and pitching into the six. His batter mate, Ryan Gordon, provided some insurance. Hitting is contagious and Highland continues to swing it well an inning later. Ryan Gordon shortens up with two strikes and finds a hole in the outfield. The man they call Gordito brings in a sprinting Havlin and that will make it a 4-0 ball game. Highland and Hobart split their head-to-head -head in NCC play. Highland with a 9-5 victory Monday and the Brickies won Tuesday at home 8-0. To, to read more on these stories, head to NWY.com. I'm Sonny Santana and this was your 219 News Now.